Hi, welcome. Marianne here, January 4th, 2022. My first weigh-in of the year video. I did put a little teeny messy grocery haul up earlier. I was out and about getting some food. Hope I got to get it really organized because the last two nights I had to go out. I had to. Oh, could I came home and made a can of soup? Of course, but I was hungry because <laughs> I didn't have lunch. Why didn't you have lunch? Well, <laughs> I had a new job. I had on the job, it was supposed to be on the job training on Sunday, but we were in a room going through pa explaining how to do it, but not doing it. We went for a couple hours to do it with somebody sh trying to show us, but you know, when you're not right there with the equipment, doing it yourself, it's hard to retain it. I'm, I'm a hands-on. I gotta have that thing. Give it to me. In fact, the one guy was letting me do something more advanced and another gal chimed in and said, no, it's just not ready for that. Well, I'm <laughs> gonna be ready if I can't do it. So, but I just find it. I, that's just how I am. I gotta have, I have to have my hands in there. And uh, so I'll get it. And if I don't, well, next I'll have to go somewhere else, right? And you know what a great feeling that is at this time in my life where I'm going to work because I want to, not because I have to. So if it goes south, well, just dust off my boots and see what else I could try, right? But anyway, so far, I'm happy. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm not discouraged. I'm, I'm happy. I'm just... I get frustrated with myself because usually I'm a quick learner, but I'm just, and I'm really good at working independently, but in fact, I enjoy working independently, but <laughs> when you're just thrown into something without even knowing how to do it, that's kind of like, ah, with a crowd of people. It's like, I have to say, everyone is, most most people are, are generally quite friendly. And um, so it was, a, it was even though it is um, confused, is a good experience. It's not a bad experience. So I'm happy so far. But they're very insistent on breaks. And, but uh, I can't get to lockers to take a lunch and put it in there. And I wouldn't have time to go there. And I don't know. So they have a cafeteria. And the food looks wonderful, but I'm on WW. Yeah, we can eat anything, but not everything <laughs> at once. <laughs> so, I'm just looking at it. So my main goal right now is making sure I don't have to ask to go use the restroom. <laughs> so I get two 15-minute breaks if I'm working like seven hours and one half-hour break. So I'm just making sure because I don't want to have to go when I'm doing my job. That's nothing new to me because I was a mail carrier and at least I have restrooms there. As a mail carrier, you kind of had to go find one <laughs> and know where they were to know where they were accessible. At least the clean ones, right? So, so I'm working through that. Um, so I came home, I was exhausted yesterday. Sunday, I was even exhausted just from sitting there all day in the training. So Sunday, I just stopped I didn't eat any lunch. They had cut, they have cut up fruit and stuff, but the last experience I had with cut up fruit wasn't so good from the grocery store because it's like they didn't wash their hands or something, and it made me, it made me sick. I had it for breakfast, and when I was at work, restrooms weren't open then. <laughs> Racing home, I lived by my route. I mean, it was just like, oh my god, that cantaloupe. Ooh, it was the cut up one already it's like they didn't wash their hands or something and I got sick and I don't I, so I'm a little leery of it <laughs> a little fearful so they had and they have soups and they have little salads and then they have vending machines with chips and um, bottled water and everything and they have some really wonderful boysenberry punch and it's sugar free so I had some of that that was good so I wasn't really hungry I didn't like skip lunch to save points or anything it's just I know I have to just learn what I'm doing and relax and not overthink everything 
so I can learn it. I'm over. I'm probably overthinking a few things is what my issue is. And so I'll readjust and correct that. But, oh, I'm so tired. I'm still tired because I went to bed like midnight last night. Well, I didn't get up till 7.30. My meeting was at 9.30. So I have to figure out. I probably eventually will eat there. <laughs> but I don't have anywhere where I can rinse out and everything because I wear partials. And that's another issue. It's not just the WW. It's my teeth. See, I don't... I, they're soaking right now, but stuff gets under there. And because I also, it's, it's outside. So like, I don't have to wear my mask. So part of it, I wasn't wearing my mask for part of it, but then people were right in my face without their mask. And I'm just like, I'm not so sure about all that science and everything. You, you hear one thing, another thing, that thing, that thing. So who knows? So I'm not sure what's safe and what's not safe. <laughs> so... But later in the day, I put it back on because it kept my nose warm. Uh, <laughs> I'm not afraid of all that stuff. I just don't want to call in sick and then miss my WW and all that because, because of that. I've already been through it. But uh, I'm not afraid of it. It's just... It's just all the sterilization of your clothes and all that kind of stuff and your bed sheets. I have the laundry sanitizer and everything. So I'm all set up if it happens. I prepared for it, but... Excuse me, I am so sorry. I'm not trying to be rude. It's only... It's not even... It's just a quarter after six. <laughs> I didn't even go to work today. I'm tired. It's... <laughs> I can't believe how tired I am. So I'll sort all that out, but I have to say, before I tell you my way in, I had, on Sunday I had oatmeal with an apple and an egg, and then that was Sunday, and then yesterday I just had a, my apple pie oatmeal and coffee with creamer. So my breakfast was only one point, so I only had one point all day long because I didn't eat any lunch. And uh, I'm assuming that the zero, I'm assuming the punch is zero points. I can't find it, the nutrition information, but it's sugar-free. So, and like sugar-free Hawaiian punch and that stuff is uh, zero points. I'm drinking it. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. It was refreshing. I'm not, I don't usually like berry stuff, but this boysenberry is pretty good. Um, you know, I like strawberries with, like, whipped cream and stuff. But, um... So I stopped at Taco Bell on Sunday night, and I got two tacos and a Burrito Supreme. The Burrito Supreme is 10 points, and the tacos are 5 each, so that was 20-point dinner, plus whatever snacks. I had a 1-point hot chocolate. And then last night... Excuse me. I had three tacos and a burrito supreme. I went to the same place. The funny thing is, I went Sunday night and <laughs> I go to the drive through and the guy is like, "Does everything look correct on the sit on the screen?" And I said, uh, "It just says we're hiring." And he goes, "Oh, do you want a job?" And I'm like. I just got trained my first day today at my new job. I, I just want a taco. <laughs> it was kind of funny. But, uh, so, you know, that was good. I don't go to Taco Bell that often. Uh, but I just felt like having tacos and burritos. So I enjoyed it. Enough of that. It's almost 10 minutes. You want to know. <sighs> Hopefully, if you didn't want to listen to all that, you just skipped ahead to my way in. Here is my weigh-in. I have it on the weekly. Let me go back into WW. Let's go back here on that arrow. Hey, come on, phone. Phone's going to die, too. Go back to WW. I don't want the weekly day. There we go. Okay. This is not correct. I think this is last week's. Come on, that's this week's. Okay, getting two weeks confused. Okay, all right. Can you see that? No, you can't. 
I'm not trying to tease you. I lost 1.4 pounds. Yippee! So I had a loss. With all this going on, I can't believe I had a loss. I thought I was going to have a gain. Uh, especially since I went to... But you know what? I had a blue dot even though I had all those points for dinner. So I really am going to have to figure out my lunch situation. Or I don't have to eat lunch, but I want to have dinner ready when I get home. Because the thing is, it's kind of like when I worked at the post office. I got all these people spitting all over me and everything. Or whatever. <laughs> I take my clothes off and jump in the shower, wash my hair, and just clean up because I don't want it in my bed. So I have to figure out... I'm not going to get home that late. It's just that if I get off, at, I got off at 5, so I got home by 6. That's not that late, really. But I was hungry. Um, I actually just put some shorts on and a t-shirt and ate my dinner last night and put some laundry in the wash, and then I went and took my shower. <sighs> After I ate, I just put some clothes that I wasn't going to put back on. So the weekly technique... Okay, first of all, the we're on a new monthly theme. And it's... Uh, oh, I see. It's... Uh, start strong, I guess, because it's the new year. So, this week was got a goal. Here's how to break it down. I think a lot of us know how to do that. Try this. Ready to tackle a resolution? Use the STAR method, S-T-A-R. S is for specific, T is for truly doable, A is for active, and R is for relevant. So it can propel you to reach your ultimate target. So B, okay, so for S, it's be specific. I want, to fish, I want to finish a charity 5K this spring, so I'm going to walk the loop around the park on Tuesdays and Saturdays. So what can you do to get closer to your goal? Define when and how you'll do it and if anyone else is involved. <sighs> Keep it truly doable. I love sleeping in on weekends, so I'll walk on Saturday afternoon. I usually take my walk in between breakfast and lunch. Usually if I wait till after lunch in General Hospital, I end up not going. So I specifically like to go between breakfast and lunch. Well, I, let's see. Stay in the, the A for active mode. I like catching up on my podcast on Saturday mornings instead of skipping out on my walk. I'll listen as I go. I like to listen to music. I actually did listen to um, Dish With D one night when I did go out in the evening. <laughs> it was freezing, and I just brought my phone and my things, and it takes me about an hour, so I list that it, Dish With D, D was over a little before I got home, so then I put on Let's Get Fit With Sandy. <sighs> Make it relevant. Participating in the 5K is a great way to support a cause that's special to me, and stay active. Is your goal something you want to do, not what you think you should do? If it's something meaningful, it'll be a powerful force in your life. Just like me going to work. It's something I want to do. I don't have to do it. <laughs> Let's dive a little deeper. New Year's resolutions can bring excitement, but that energy can quickly disappear if those resolutions don't resonate personally are too vague, or if you haven't mapped out how to make them a reality. That's why the STAR method is such a win. It drives you to create a fully equipped plan that can make your goal a reality. The confidence boost you get from accomplishing a goal means you're more likely to stick with the healthy behaviors that got you there. Okay, this is an interesting recipe. I didn't grab the paper. I don't even know if they had it. Nobody, the other lady usually hands it to me. Avocado banana bread. But you can find it in your app. Six points. Woo! Well, of course, because they have sugar. 
eight points of avocado. Woo! Unless you have zero. For your av That's eight points for me. I don't have zero point avocados. So, 29 points for the flour. Oh, so it's not eight points of serving. <laughs> That's eight points of avocado in the whole loaf. Little, little loaf. How many servings it makes... Oh, excuse me. Serving size is two servings. And then they have similar recipes below that when you go on the recipe. But anyway, that that it was the meeting was about goals and my goal, big goal is to remember my word of the year resilient and um my goal is to remember that I can always bounce back if I have a something that's going the going south I can bounce back and uh, pick up the slack and uh, get back on the right direction and also I think I mentioned in my last video my goal is to average one pound a week over 52 weeks and that would be 52 pounds I lost more than a pound for this week so so far so good even without even being perfect and I had a couple extra days because I usually weigh in on Sunday. But the last two days, I did eat a lot at nighttime. So if I weigh in Sunday, we'll see how that pans out. Because I was eating a lot of salt today, and I, that's why I'm drinking so much water. I just drink. I had chips and pretzels. If you saw my grocery haul, I was just, I'm not going to have dinner tonight because I was just snacking. And I'm full. I'm, I'm not hungry for dinner. So I don't need to eat dinner because it's already 6.30. And I've had plenty. I might have a warm hot cocoa before I go to bed. I don't know. I am tired though. Really, really tired. And I just wanted to check in with my weigh-in. And it's going to be a little scattered, like I said, because I'm not working this. So far, I'm only scheduled two days next week, a Wednesday and a Saturday. So I don't know if they're going to add more. I'm not going to be one of... You can... People, they tag, uh, stick shifts up there that you could grab and do for somebody else. But I'm not going to start out the gate like that because I am retired. <laughs> so, Part-time, I just want to work two, maybe three days a week. I don't really want to work every day. So, But if they need me, I will. I'm not going to, you know, I told them I'm fully available. So if I start doing a lot better at the job with more practice, you know, maybe they'll want me to come in <laughs> But I think that's how they they just schedule you a couple days a week. It's not, you know, only a certain amount of hours so you don't get to the next level of, you know, part-time or full-time and those kind of things with the benefits and all that. And that's that's another good thing. I'm in a place where I have my benefits from my retirement, so I don't have to worry about when I do look for something to do in my spare time, I don't have to worry about what are the benefits. Of course, if they do have benefits for us, that's great. I do have a great benefit, though. I have free admission to this place, so I can go anytime I want. Except for, like, special events. But otherwise, if I just want to get out for the day and go, I can go. Pop around. and Kind of would like to do that so I can see exactly where all the restrooms and everything are. Just so I can be more helpful to people. Excuse me. And all the different food places and those kind of things. I'm more familiar with the other place. So, well, we'll see how it goes. My 20 minutes are up. I'm sorry that it's a long video. And I'm sorry that I'm yawning at all. I am going to go to bed early for sure. But anyway, thanks for watching. And what are your goals? You can put those in the comment. And if you haven't put your word of the year down yet, you can do that. And how do you think you're going to get to your goal? I mean, with me, goals are, I'm more the big goal and then smaller goals to get up to that bigger goal. That's the way I like to do goals. Big goal and tiny goals, stepping stones to the big goal. Because if you just go for the big goal, that's what makes it so devastating and overwhelming. <laughs> so... Like, like the tortoise and the hare, slow and steady wins the race.
step by step by step by step. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.